All right, so we're back with the only game where you can fix everything in the house, tell your wife that you did it, and technically you're not lying. It's House Flipper. This is probably also the only game that HGTV would sponsor if they could. So there was recently a giant update. Let me go down here into my zombie apocalypse mansion so that I can find out exactly everything that changed. Uh, I know there's an extra house. It's, uh, I, I levitate up this thing every friggin' time and I think it's just the game going nuts, but it's just me climbing this freaking portal to the outside world, which is a place I don't need to go unless I'm selling houses and making stacks. Supposedly the Kevin McAllister house is on the market for sale. Uh, which kind of makes sense, considering Macaulay Culkin is about six billion dollars in debt. Over to the browser. I should probably check on here every once in a while to see if there's anything new besides this stuff. There it is. <laughs> I wouldn't want to wouldn't want to get hit with a copyright strike. That's right, everyone. It's not home alone. It's a lone home. Surprise, mother. Four hundred seven thousand dollars. I'm gonna have to sell one of my mansions for this. What a bunch of crap. Anyway, it says a house in the colonial style from the 1920s. Built of beautiful red bricks. 15 people lived in here. Blah, blah, blah. It's got a big kitchen. Probably two uh, New Yorkian crooks may have gotten their asses beaten within its 158.94 meter squared compound. My plan is I really want to jack this house up. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. I wonder if they'll have the traps from home alone so we could make it like a deadly trap house if not i may just put guns and drugs everywhere and then see if we could sell it for a ton of money don't worry it's not real drugs it's just bags of uncooked rice all right just married mansion you were pretty cool but quite frankly i've got another potential awesome house on the market so get the hell out of here it's auction time i think jimmy trader is usually someone that offers a decent bit of money. I lied. He's a failure and I, I don't know why I put any faith in him. Bruh. Chang Choi used to be our boy, but he's now pretty low on the list as well. Donald Trump throwing down with 341. We got Veronica Lipton. She pretty much doesn't like anything I ever put together. There's like a big family. They usually have a ton of money and they don't mind spending it. I think it's like the Smoth family or something. By big family, I meant two people. Listen, I was close, all right? I like to negotiate because everyone will always pay more money. I don't know why, they just do. Give me 23,000 extra dollars. Okay, we have that in our back pocket. Thank you, small family. Welcome everyone to a lone home. Not to be cross-referenced with any potential movies that were made. Oh, it's all wintry and everything as well. Isn't that cute? I don't remember what the neighborhood of Home Alone legitimately looked like, so I couldn't tell you how accurate this representation is. The house looks pretty legit. Ah, in the backyard, some miraculously floating ivy. No big deal. The more money you make, the more you're allowed to break physics. We have some trash and like, I don't know, squirt or whatever this is down here. It's like the off-brand of Sprite. I'm pretty sure one of the burglars split their wig ah! open going down here. Let me clean some of this crap up. Man, this house is legit. What did, what did Kevin's father do? Why, why was he able to afford a house like this? Wasn't he a lawyer or something? His father is a successful businessman, and his mother is a fashion designer. Right, just get rid of all the used tires and fecal material, potentially some organ fluid. Oh, this is a legitimate item that I can't get rid of. Oh, it is legit. It's got all the, 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 the slippy stuff on here. I remember one set of stairs had like a tacky substance, I think it was. And the other set of stairs had like a bunch of slickness to it. Before we go any further, let us find out what sort of negotiation skills we have. Hold on, where's the store? There we go. I feel like our tablet got fancier. Let us find what sort of Christmas glories we have. Oh, pianos and wreaths and presents and snow globes. Okay. And whatever this is. I never know for sure, but I feel like they may have like ripped more stuff off the Ikea store for us. Like this desk corner of artist, I feel like this wasn't here before. It's impossible to know. This place has come a long way, all right? We started out with like one toilet and look at this. Now we have three. Damn, not gonna lie, those are some loud ass curtains. I kind of like them. Ah, the pizza box, very Kevin-like. All right, we got USA Top News. Hold on, is there anything about the sticky bandits in here? Or not, they're not the sticky bandits, the friggin' wet bandits. Wasn't that what they were? Isn't that what Marv always called them? 
before he got slapped in the chicklets by uh, Joe Pesci. What was his name? Harry? It was Harry, wasn't it? I'd like to get this house to sell for a million dollars, at the very least. I'm not totally sure how we're gonna do it, but what the hell is all the snowflakes all over the freaking ground? I can't put this stool anywhere because these snowflakes. Oh, it's the feathers! It's not freaking snowflakes! That's what it is! Wow, they really did this house up. Like, I'm slowly going through the entire movie in my head as I try and remember- there's the bag and everything! As I try and remember everything that happened. It's been a long time since I've seen the entirety of Home Alone. Like, I always catch a little bit of it as the holiday comes around. This is nuts! You got the car toys over here and the- the- Let me see what else we got over here. Oh, there's all the stockings for all the kids, presents strewn about. Yep! Here's where you come in through the- the window and then step on all the ornaments and the shards of glass and everything. We're going upstairs. <laughs> There's footprints and everything. Past all the- the dangerousness. To see what other sort of oh my god, there's a lot of rooms in this freaking place. Little child's room. No dead bodies. Ah! Here's the workplace. I think this is the parents' room? I'm fairly sure what sort of pictures- I didn't- I kind of wondered if they would like- put pictures of the actual cast in here. I'm not sure if they'd be allowed to do that in their game or not. Probably not. Like, I could do it if I wanted to because I'm just some poor schlep. Alright, so that's the Kevin McAllister house. But it's not a million dollar house yet. We're gonna have to make sure that Christmas is coming even harder this time. That sounded somewhat poor. <laughs> Christmas is arriving better this year. First, I have to clean up all of the the freaking anus blow all over this place. Could you change light bulbs before? <laughs> I don't remember if you could or not. That is potentially the easiest thing I've ever done in this game. Take out light bulb, put in light bulb. Now I do have to mention, I don't know how we're cleaning a lot of this up. There's probably like blood and internal organ goo and everything else. It's just coming right up off the ground because of the Squeegeonator 5000. Potential hepatitis causing fluids pose no problem to the Squeegeonator 5000. Although I, I think I do have to legitimately pick up all the broken glass with my bare hands. Oh my god, you don't have to change all these light bulbs, do you? Yep. Sure do. Suddenly the light bulb changing is a little bit more annoying. <laughs> there is still some dirt left. Don't be a jackass, alright? Look at how much crap this single mop just picked up. I don't even know what I'm aiming at. I just look at the mini-map and pray to God that I'm somewhere in the right location for all this crap. I think this chair needs to go. It does. Alrighty. It's time for extra Christmas to go on. Now, supposedly, there's better wall knockdown physics. In order to test that, we're going to have to increase the potential livable area for Christmas. Mr. Gorbachev, bring that freaking wall down. I feel like there's more power in the swings now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Um. <laughs> I didn't know that lamps could go flying. Hold on. Does, uh, is other stuff... It's just the lamp. I don't know why, but the lamp decided it had lost its will to live. Better wall breaking, A. Eh? A. Eh? I'm gonna tell you, that's a dedicated painting. See how that tree is growing out of the side of a waterfall? This painting is growing out of the side of one sad chunk of wall. Get up out of there! Alright, I'm sure all this stuff is lovely, but it's all going away. I ain't got time for it right now. We gotta find out what the most expensive stuff Bookshelf levitating. This bookshelf is definitely levitating. Oh my god. They changed it, and now you can put stuff outside of the house. Oh, devs. I love you so much. Can't have Christmas without some M16s. As I put a bunch of rifles in the Kevin McAllister house, it's time for a quick story time with Gray where I tell you about the dumb things that I did as a child so that you hopefully don't replicate them, but some of you probably already have. The very first time my dad let me use a gun, I think I was like seven years old or eight years old. It was a 12-gauge shotgun. 
Now, if you've ever used a 12 gauge shotgun, it has a little bit of kick. That's for a grown man though. When you're like 54 pounds, it has a lot of kick. What the hell does this mean? This is not in English. Anyway though, I wanted to shoot the shotgun, so my dad was gonna make it happen. Being the, uh, the preponderer of, of, of safety and firearms propriety that he was, uh, my target was a oil container from, en from an engine oil container, uh, that was, he put up in a tree about 10 feet up from the ground. To his credit, he told me, son, make sure that you put the shotgun firmly into your shoulder. I did not. Thus, as I squeezed the trigger, not knowing what to expect because I was a child and not a grown man who understood to fear the recoil of a firearm, I looked like I got kicked by a kangaroo in the chiclets. Gun went flying, I went flying, and luckily no one was injured. On the plus side, I totally massacred the oil container. So hey, my aim wasn't too bad. Did your first experience with a firearm go perfectly? You're gonna have to let me know in the comment section below. If you've never had one, then I guess you're gonna have to tell me whether or not you've been kicked by like a, a kangaroo or a mule or something. All right, the most expensive item I could find is these generators. Am I allowed to put this outside? Nope. All right, looks like it's Christmas decorations only. I make my own trap house over here. Be stepping all over my balls trying to get in. My hope is to eventually buy so much stuff that I crash the game. I don't think I've ever done that before. The frame rate's really starting to stutter. On a side note, if we manage to sell all this and make a ton of money, that's fine too. Oh my god, you can put them all inside of the backyard as well. Oh, we buying presents for all the boys and girls this year. I don't know where the money's coming from though. It's Logan Paul. He's repenting for the past. He's buying everyone freaking RC cars, drones, PS4s. Therapy gift cards. Okay, now I have a personal goal. I actually want to fill up the entire yard with presents. At this point now, the frame rate is down to half of what it normally is. I think we may be getting closer to like a fatal crash. Over on this side of the house, it looks like a friggin' like Christmas tree warehouse or something. There's just Christmas trees everywhere. I can't get, there's so many presents, I can't get over them all. You gotta put presents under the tree. Wouldn't be appropriate otherwise. Although, the physics of the game is keeping me from putting some of them under the tree. I can only put them vaguely near the tree. Can shove a couple of extra small ones inside the little cracks like this. Oh my god, it's just a sea of Christmas presents. It's like a rich kid's dream. You just want to swim through it like Scrooge McDuck would swim through his gold. Children would swim through the sea of presents. We still have half the yard to go. It looks like a literal sea of presents. Like I could walk across this and never touch the ground. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do when we get done to do an entire lap around the house. Ugh. Getting close, man. The, uh, the little Christmas tree farm is right over there. So maybe only another, like, Another thousand presents or something. Oh my god, I might actually spend all of our money on presents. Like, what was that, a couple hundred grand on presents? Alright, I'm finding tiny little openings here. We've got to get- I'm gonna spend all the money on it. We have to now, we're so close. We freaking did it. We spent it all on presents. This right here is what it's like to play The Floor is Lava, but with presents. The time has come to sell this hideous travesty. <laughs> oh, it's like Chris Kringle had explosive diarrhea all over our front and backyard. All right, let's try and sell it. Here we go. Start the auction. I can't even imagine what someone would, oh my God, $542,000. 546, okay. We're getting there. I almost want to attempt to like negotiate the you have offended the honor of my masculinity. Please tell me why these toys are here. <laughs> 
I actually lost a hundred and seven thousand dollars. I'm actually how much are you allowed to negotiate by a hundred and fifty one thousand? Why not? Let's see if they'll take it. I'm curious. Your offer's too low, you scumbags. All right, I didn't think so. Guess I'll have to accept their low ball offer. Anyway, we did it. We bought the Kevin McAllister house. And we filled up the entire freaking yard with presents. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> but it looked cool. Anyway, until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.